Well, welcome to the Top Gun Show, where I try to bring you new providers, new technologies, and introduce you to the best professionals in the industry, all so you can make an informed decision. Today, I'd like to welcome my good friend, Craig Patterson, the Channel Chief and VP of Sales of the Americas for Ariaka, the sponsor of the Top Gun Show. Craig is well known for being a collaborative, out-of-the-box leader with a talent for motivating and inspiring his teams to deliver high-level performance throughout his career. He's an award-winning senior channel executive in the tech space, recently awarded with the 2022 CRN Channel Chief Award, as well as the 2022 Channel Futures Circle of Excellence. Craig has led large-scale global sales and strategic teams and has significant experience owning P&Ls of over $2 billion. He has over 20 years experience in building and scaling channel strategies across Europe, Asia, North America, and South America. He also has expertise in leading through change as evidenced in his 15 years experience in integrations due to mergers and acquisitions. Craig, welcome back to the Top Gun Show. My man, Steve, quite the intro there. Thank you so much. And by the way, I'm very excited. I finally can check this off my bucket list. Cheers to you, my friend. Right on, baby. I love it. You're looking good. You look good before, but you look better now. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Love it. Well, hey, buddy, it's been five months since you were on the Top Gun show last. What's new with Ariaka? Yeah, no, thanks for having me back. Um, and quite honestly, Steve, there's a lot that's new. We continue to evolve as a company. You know, here's some quick highlights I would call out. Yeah, we recently launched our brand new uh, revised Ariaka certification platform, which we call the ACP. And really what this is, it's a self-paced um, training module part where partners can come in, they can learn about Ariaka, they can learn about our solutions, and they can become certified. So that's out there, that's available. The other thing I'd highlight is from an organizational standpoint, you see, you see us, right? We're active on social. We continue to scale the team. So we've added some new channel directors, um, CJ Jensen in the Rocky Mountain region, Derek Wood down in Texas. We've got Angie Oaks who just started here. So we continue to evolve um, the team, continue to scale the team. By the way, I'm adding a VP of sales. So be on the lookout very soon for that announcement. And then the last thing that I would talk about is the new platform called AppAssure. And really, this is a game changer for Ariaka. And so what AppAssure is, it's a way for our MSP partners to co-manage their customer's environment. And so when you think of co-management, it's a, it's a portal, really, where they can log in, they can see traffic real time that's traversing the SD-WAN architecture. Not only see the traffic, they can engage and they can control, shape, and prioritize and optimize that traffic into 3,500 different SaaS applications, which really puts their customers in a position to have a better experience. And oh, by the way, guess what? Now those MSP partners have the ability to monetize, that's a game changer, monetize that, that platform. That's exciting, man, great recap. That, you've done a lot of work in nine months, my friend. It's been, uh, I gotta say, of, of all the vendors, suppliers, uh, carriers, whatever that I interview, I think Ariaka has got the greatest kind of hockey stick uh, momentum moving since you joined there, man. It's exciting to watch what you guys are doing. So Thank my hat's you, off friend. to you. Thank you, my friend. I'm glad you're noticing. And as you can see, I love the hockey stick reference. <laughs> well, you know, like I said, it's been exciting to watch Ariaka change its strategy. You, you, you weren't known as channel friendly a couple of years ago. Now you're going after the enterprise market. How's that going? Yeah, so when you think of our, our strategy, I mean, we're 100% in. So if you could see me here and I had a big pile of poker chips, I'm pushing them all in the middle right now for, for the channel partners. We're going all in. We're now a channel-led organization. You know, we believe for us to scale and grow, it's all coming through the efforts here on the channel side. So um, that's our strategy. But when you look at the, the transformation um, in terms of the enterprise market, I mean, that's really been revolutionary for our company. You know, the last 10 years, we've been really focused on the top end of the enterprise market, you know, global customers that have the need to scale, you know, and transform themselves globally. You know, now we're taking that same secret sauce and we're applying it to customers that are regional and domestic. And I got to tell you, when you look at the trends, it's working. 
And I'll tell you a couple of key points. Number one, the funnel. I look at the number of opportunities coming in on a weekly, monthly, quarterly basis. We're seeing almost three times the amount of funnel that we've seen historically. And the majority of that funnel, guess what, Steve? It's customers that are located here in the United States that have a regional need or a domestic need. And we're not only are we seeing pipeline increase, we're seeing opportunities close. We recently just closed a couple of weeks ago, a retail customer, 226 sites, all based in the United States. And of course, the retail customers typically have very aggressive price points that we have to achieve, right? So, you know, their, their drivers were competitiveness. They needed a really aggressive price point and they needed a way to accelerate their UCAS deployment. So they were uh, deploying eight by eight UCAS. And so they, they needed a way to make sure that UCAS really worked well in their environment. So it was a perfect use case for us with our new packaging, new SKUs, focused around regional and domestic um, customers, plus our ability to really help that UCAS uh, solution work very well. So of course we won the opportunity, it's worth about $75,000 a month for us. So that's just one example, but we're really starting to see success in that enterprise market. I love it, man. Great answer. You're kind of the Pied Piper and, and the results tend to follow you as does top talent. So congratulations. I don't know how you're going to beat what you've already done in the last nine months, but what's the rest of the year look like for Ariaka? Well, hopefully you're seeing all the fun events that we're doing, right? We've been doing this drive experience campaign. We've already done four cities um, so far. They're just, they're a blast. You get to come out to a racetrack. You get to jump in a supercar, a Ferrari, a Lamborghini, a Porsche, um, you know, whatever really floats your boat. Jump in that car and you get to rip it around the track. I mean, what's better than that? So you're going to see more of that from us. We've got... Another four cities planned this year, including St. Louis, um, uh, St. Louis, Colorado, um, and San Francisco, and a number of other cities. And then we'll be launching another another four to six cities throughout the rest of the year. So you're going to see more drive events. You're going to see more regional events. You're going to see us continue with our incentive. You know, we've got the car giveaway to the top sales partner for this year. You can actually win one of those supercars, which will be a brand new Corvette. So you'll continue to see us promote that throughout the course of the year. So the bottom line, Steve, we're going to have a blast. You're going to see us out in the market. You're going to see us rocking those brand new Air Yakas, you know, at these events, the brand new um, Air Jordans that we've, we've launched as well. I love it. I love it. Brilliant. Brilliant stuff, man. Well, Craig, I know you're a big fan of the Top Gun show, and then I know you know there are millions and millions of people watching you right now. You've already shared a little known fact in the past, but give me a, give me an item or two that's still on your bucket list. I got to say, the first item on, on my bucket list was getting one of these bad boys, so we could go ahead and check that right <laughs> off the box, right? Love it, love it. Love it. So my wife and I really love to travel, so the plan is once we retire, which – we're not planning on retiring for a while, but in the future, when we retire, there's a trip around the world. And so there's this cruise um, company, it's called Silver Sea. It's not like the big giant cruise liners that hold thousands upon thousands upon people. This is more of an intimate setting, very luxurious, very nice. They do a cruise around the world. You get for over the course of four to five months, you hit every single continent, you hit over 60 countries, and so that's top of my bucket list uh, for my wife and I as we look to retire. The most immediate thing on my bucket list is I'm looking forward to the Avalanche winning the Stanley Cup. So I'm hoping, you know, we'll be able to check that one off very, very soon. Well, well good luck on that. And what a huge bucket list item on the world cruise, man. That, you don't do anything small, do you, Craig? It's all, we go one speed, my man, all in, a thousand miles an hour. Love it, love it. Well, hey, I'll let you get back to, to the business there. Thanks for carving out time out of your busy schedule to be on the Top Gun show, my friend. I really appreciate it. No, thanks for having me, Steve. It's been, uh, it's been good being back on your show. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you.